In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now, forever, and to the age of all ages. Amen. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, today is uh, Friday of the sixth week of the Great Lent. And today, uh, wonderful readings, especially in the prophecies. I love the prophecies. They give us very focused readings. And today, we have uh, four readings, but two I'm going to focus on. The first reading is from the book of Genesis. And this is about uh, Abraham offering his son Isaac as, uh, as a sacrifice. I believe all of us know the story, so I'm not going to go through the story. But it is a story of obedience. Abraham getting up early, obeying the commands of the Lord to offer his son uh, Isaac. Of course, this was not an easy thing, but it shows great obedience. Uh, that's why it is written, God wanted to test. And it's not that God did not know what is in the heart of Abraham, but it is for us, for us to see what is inside the heart of Abraham, his great love to the Lord. And even more, the greater is the love of the Lord to Abraham and his descendants. We see a story of obedience, uh, faith, and prayer. I'm sure Abraham, while he is going up the mountain to offer his son Isaac, this was not an easy task, an easy command. So I'm sure he continuously prayed while he's going to do this uh, uh, this this offering. And then uh, we know the end of the story that uh, Isaac came back uh, alive, uh, protected, uh, joyful. So they were all joyful and Isaac was alive. Having this story at the background, there is another story that I want to share uh, more details about. It is the story of uh, read in the book of Tobit. So today we read the full uh, book of Tobit or Tobias. Uh, the book of Tobit uh, is one of the deuterocanonical books. It's a wonderful book. Uh, I would encourage all of you to read it. It's written in a story format, wonderful story with wonderful details. And having the story of Abraham and Isaac as the backdrop, let's read this story, the details of the story of uh, Tobias. I'm going to refer to him as Tobias. So the father name is Tobias and the son name is Tobias. It was common in the, in the Jewish tradition to name the children after the name of the father. So I'm going to be referring to Tobias the father, Tobias the, the son. So this story happened around 800 uh, BC before uh, Christ. And it is during the Assyrian uh, exile when the people of Israel were taking uh, were taken to exile uh, by the Assyrian to the to the the city of Nineveh. So it talks about uh, Tobias, the father, who is a righteous uh, man. Uh, during the time of exile, he is righteous and he kept on obeying the commands of the God of our Lord, and he kept on doing uh, 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 charitable deeds. One of his common uh, charitable deeds is to bury the, the, the dead. This was banned, like the king said, no one should do this. So people of Israel would die and be left alone in the street. So uh, Tobias did not accept this and he took it upon himself to go and bury the dead. So one day, uh, while he was celebrating one of the feasts, actually he heard about one of a fellow Israelite who was killed and uh, need to be buried. So he left his food and while he was still fasting, he went to... Uh, get the body and to bury uh, this uh, corpse uh, and then he went back home he was tired he sat and he leaned against the wall and he lifted up his uh, uh, his head but uh, uh, bird droppings uh, fell into his eyes and he became blind and this made him even more poor he had already lent uh, some of uh, 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 some money to uh, to a relative in a far uh, land so when he became more in need, he called his son Tobias and he asked him to go and find himself a companion, someone he could trust and to travel with him and to go to this far land and uh, uh, get this, uh, collect this debt and bring it back so that they could continue to live. And uh, before this, he made a wonderful prayer. He asked, he lifted up his uh, eyes and his heart and his head to the Lord and he asked God to uh, uh, help him to forgive his sins and to be his aid. And the Bible records that the Lord listened to his prayer at the same time. Uh, another relative, uh, her name is Sarah, 
uh, the daughter of uh, Ragul, uh, 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 she had a, a bit of a strange situation. She was a young, beautiful girl. She got married to seven men, but each time she gets married, and the date, the first night of uh, uh, the marriage, the husband would die by a demon. So she was shamed by a lot of people, and uh, she felt really very bad. And at the same time, she lifted up her heart, uh, her heart to the Lord, and she prayed for God to help her, to protect her. And the scripture records the Lord listened to her uh, prayer. And this is the time when Tobias asked his son to find a companion and go to collect the uh, debt. Uh, by God's providence, uh, he arranged an archangel Raphael, and Raphael meaning the one who brings joy, he uh, uh, to be a companion for Tobias. And uh, so that it's easier, so he took the form of a man and he named himself, so Ra uh, archangel Raphael uh, took a form of a man, named himself Azariah, son of Hananiah. And this means, Azariah means God helps, God is my helper. And Hananiah means God is my mercy, God provides uh, mercy. So the he appeared to him and he promised him, you know what, I'm going to be a companion uh, for you in this journey. And he showed him that he knows the way and he's familiar with the, with the ways of the travel. So this was comforting to Tobias the father and Tobias the uh, the sun. So they went on the journey. As they went into the journey, they had a first adventure. And the first adventure is a big f fish attacked Tobias. And the angel told Tobias to catch the fish. And uh, uh, he got the fish uh, by the gills. And uh, he told him, from the fish, uh, get the heart, the gall, and the liver. Because they could be used for, for healing. And Tobias obeyed, and he uh, got these items: got the heart, the gall, and the liver of the fish, and used the meat for uh, for their food. And then they reached the the house of Sarah or the house of Ragul, uh, Raguil, and uh, he said, "This is the second thing that I want you to marry uh, this daughter. So, but be cautious that uh, she seems to be possessed, or there is a demon who is there." who kills all her husband. So uh, Tobias became concerned. He said, don't worry, I'm going to be with you. So for three nights, for three nights, you do not have any sexual relationship and just spend it in prayer. And in the first night, you burn the liver of the fish. And this has a power to cast out any demon uh, that exists. So uh, out of obedience, uh, Tobias uh, accepted and he proposed. And of course, the father was concerned about the marriage and he didn't want uh, this uh, Tobias to die as well. But he accepted when the uh, angel comforted him and assured him that it's going to be safe. And Tobias obeyed. Tobias did exactly as the angel said. So he spent the three, the first three nights, both of them in prayer. And the first night he burned the liver on the coal and Archangel Raphael himself came and he captured uh, the demon and he bound the demon and he protected and he protected Tobias and Sarah. And it was a great, a great joy. So it's another account of God listening to prayers, God protecting and God uh, uh, saving uh, Tobias uh, and of course three days is, is, is a unique number and the journey that Abraham also took up to the mountain guess how many days it was also three days like the days of our Lord Jesus Christ stayed in the tomb so he transformed death into life by prayers and by the power of, uh, of obedience uh, and then, of course, everyone was happy uh, after the wedding and after uh, Sarah and Tobias were, uh, were were safe. So Tobias asked the, uh, a, the the angel and he said, I still have to collect the debt and I don't want to be late. I want to go back to my uh, father and my mother. Uh, can you go, please, and collect the debt on my behalf? And, and then we go back to my father. And the angel, of course, agreed. He went, collected the debt. He went back to pick up Tobias and they went back to uh, 
uh, Tobias the father and they went ahead Tobias and the angel they went ahead uh, of the journey uh, uh, of his wife and, and, and the rest of his uh, possessions like the cattle and the, uh, everything that they own they went to Tobias the father and once they went there and before they go uh, the angel told Tobias use the gall to anoint the eyes of your father and he will be healed and indeed as soon as he reached of course Tobias the father was happy the mother was happy and he got the uh, uh, gall and he made some anointment and he anointed the eyes of his father and he became able to see one more and he became uh, joyful only at this time that they said, well, we do not know how to repay you. You did great and wondrous things, what marvelous thing. If we give you half of what we have, even that's not going to be uh, enough. And this is when the uh, angel started to reveal himself and to tell them that he has been sent by God to protect Tobias, to protect the family. God has listened to the prayer of Tobias, the father. God has listened to the prayer of Sarah. God has looked to their obedience to their piety and to their righteousness and he wants to protect them despite of all the hardships that they went through despite of all the difficulties that they went through but they were not alone they were they were protected uh, at this when they realized that this was an archangel Raphael they all were shocked and they bowed to the floor and they kept on bowing to the floor for three hours for three hours uh, Tobias his father his mother all of them kept on bowing to the floor and and they were praying they were praising God so it's it's a wonderful story that shows us uh, uh, many theme it shows us that God protects his people God listened to prayer God saves from death God brings life uh, God heals God brings protection and joy and if we are experiencing uh, uh, difficult days it is time to remember we are not alone uh, God listens to all of our prayers I'm sure all of us have uh, been sending a lot of prayers to the Lord nowadays God listen to our prayers God protects God's joy is to heal God's joy is to give life not death God's joy is to protect his uh, children let me read uh, with you and conclude with a prayer of a wonderful psalm that we use in praise Psalm 135 or in the uh, other numbering in the in the God in the Bibles that we have it might be Psalm 136 I'm gonna be praying few verses of this psalm let's pray them together oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever oh give thanks to the God of gods for his mercy endures forever Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his mercy endures uh, forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lowly state, for his mercy endures forever, and rescued us from our enemies for his mercy endures forever who gives food to all flesh for his mercy endures forever who give thanks to the God of heaven for his mercy endures forever glory be to our God and because his mercy endures forever Amen